how you doing today guys um ek trader here inform trades pro uh it is now january 8th 2010 at 8 13 p.m eastern time um i basically just wanted to put this analysis together uh, you know just for kicks really for anybody that's interested um i've seen a few threads and um some different talk on a euro euro usd um, about what it's going to do and what it might do. Um, what I have up is a daily chart of the Euro FX futures. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that's basically the futures contract um, of the Euro USD spot market. Um, it runs uh, very closely pip for pip um, as far as uh, the price correlation is concerned. So, um, you know, it's something I like to use uh, for my analysis. Uh, let's get right to it. Basically, the Euro USD is uh, is going to go up. Okay, um, it's pretty clear. Um, in my opinion, there's almost no doubt about it. Uh, it's pretty clear it's going to go up, and I'm going to try to explain to you guys why. Uh, as you can see, you know we had this, you know, rally for a while and dipping, rally for a while and uh, there was a top here if any of you seen my analysis uh, in the past about the dollar index and stuff like that um, I, I kinda uh, called it out a little bit and said it was gonna go down which it did and the dollar was gonna go up which it did and uh, now we're sitting we're sitting down here we're right here right now as you can see uh, there's a base that's set in right here okay um, the dollar pretty much bounced off this level and as you can see it's kinda hesitating to go past this level here and the reason is because if you just look back here in the past wait a minute let me zoom that up a little bit you look back here in the past obviously there's a lot of supply at this level here okay um, there's a big drop here in supply and you know, there's a drop here and you know they basically had to use a running start <laughs> to jump over this level here um, as you can see actually and, and they were able to do that because the volume was low nobody was trading and uh, whatever bank or whatever it is that took control basically used this as an opportunity to go higher so uh, the, the manipulation was pretty obvious there um, so whatever that was the catalyst to move higher and I'm pretty sure they had fundamental reasons uh, based on what was happening with uh, with other things and stuff like that but um so that's why this level here is kind of uh, holding fast and what's happening is it's making a lot of people uh, nervous to stay in their lungs here uh, because of those uh, levels in the past right there but I can tell you it's going to go higher because there's a lot of buying here and obviously because of the price spread here um, you know closed at the highs a lot of volume actually this is uh, one of the highest one of the three or four highest volume days in the past year or so and uh, it closed at the highs which basically tells me um, a, a move higher is is very much likely I mean I I don't even think there'll be much of a pullback on Monday or Tuesday this this thing is definitely gonna move higher so um if anybody you know is getting positioned it, it's probably a good idea now uh, you know just just uh, you know a note for a lot of you smarty pants um, I know there's going to be people to say oh EK trader that that's impossible it you there's no way you could predict it's going to go higher it, you know there's no way it's impossible well sure it is I'm going to tell you why um this looking at this candle and looking at this volume none, none of these orders today appeared to be very evenly matched I mean this is pretty clear that the buyers are in control so it almost it, it has to move higher I mean how much higher you know nobody knows I mean there could be another bank or another big whale that steps in and you know whatever the case may be and, and decide to push it down I mean who knows but um, from looking at the chart strictly reading the chart you know removing all the lines and everything else I mean just it's pretty clear that you know this thing is gonna go higher you know 
Um, the only thing that could come in and, and crush this is if uh, whoever operated this move, you know, nobody knows if this is a bank or several banks or whatever the case may be, but whoever was responsible for operating this move, if, if they're not um, in conjunction with with other banks and they believe that it's gonna go down then it'll go down but typically when moves like this happen this is usually a, a group of banks or a group of investors that are working together and because that, that's usually how these moves happen this this stuff doesn't um, happen by accident so anyway that's it man just wanted to kind of share that analysis with you and I know there's still some haters and a few people probably don't believe in this and that. And, and that's fine, you know, no problem. I just wanted to give this analysis for the people that understand and can see what I'm looking at. And uh, the, the people that are interested in making some money in the market. So uh, that's it, 8.19 p.m. EK Trader Informed Trades Pro, Trade Stars Incorporated. Uh, for, that, for those that are interested, uh, my mentor service should be coming out soon, so I'm excited about that for anybody that's interested. And uh, I hope to be able to uh, get some people profit profitable and share some more knowledge with you. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.